Good evening, everybody. It's Minister Lou. Happy Tuesday to you guys. Right now, we are reading out of the book of Acts together. We are on chapter 22. Let's just get into this, shall we? Men, brethren, fathers, hear ye my defense, which I make now unto you. And when they heard that he spake in Hebrew tongue to them, they kept the more silence, and he saith. So they were surprised that he was speaking Hebrew. They were like, ooh, he's speaking our language to us. Let's, uh, let's be quiet. Let's hear this. I am verily a man, which am a Jew, born in Tarsus, a city in Silica, yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel and taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers and was zealous towards God as ye all are this day and I persecuted this way unto, de unto the death binding and delivering into prisons both men and women and also the high priest doth bear me witness and all the estate of the elders from whom also I received letters unto the brethren and went to Damascus to bring them which were there bound unto Jerusalem for to be punished. So he's telling the people, hey, I was like all y'all. I was persecuting these guys. I was on my way to Damascus one day to go get a whole bunch of them and bring them back so they could be punished for believing in Jesus, teaching Jesus. And it came to pass that as I made my journey and was come nigh unto Damascus about noon, suddenly there shone from heaven a great light round about me. And I fell into the ground and heard a voice saying unto me, Saul, Saul, why per persecutest thou me? And I answered, Who art thou, Lord? And he said unto me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom thou persecutest. So he's telling the people, but this day, when I was on my way to Damascus, Jesus spoke to me from the heavens. It was a bright light from heaven, and he told me it was him. And asked me, why am I persecuting him? You know, he probably thought he was going to persecute people who believed in him, but really, he was persecuting Christ. And they that were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. And I said, What shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said unto me, Arise, and go into Damascus, and there shall be told thee of all things which are appointed for thee to do. And when I could not see for the glory of the light, being led by the hand of them that were with me, I came into Damascus. So he's saying, essentially, to these people hey the light that was so glorious from the heavens blinded me I couldn't see and I had to be led by the hand into Damascus because I couldn't do it on my own I was blind and one Ananias a devout man according to the law having a, re a good report of all the Jews which dwelled there, came unto me and stood and said unto me, Brother Saul, receive thy sight. And the same hour I looked up upon him, and he said, The God of our fathers hath chosen thee, that thou shouldest know his will, and see that just one, and shouldest hear the voice of his mouth. For thou shalt be his witness unto all men of what thou hast seen and heard. And now why tarriest thou, arise, and be baptized, and wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord. And it came to pass, that when I was come again to Jerusalem, while even I prayed in the temple, I was in a trance. And saw him saying unto me, Make haste, and get thee quickly out of Jerusalem, for they will not receive thy testimony concerning me. So, he's saying in the temple while he was in this trance that he saw Jesus there too. 
And he said unto him, You need to leave Jerusalem. They're not going to receive the testimony of me. They're, they're just not. And I said, Lord, they know that I imprisoned and beat in every synagogue them that believed on thee. He's pleading with them. He's like, you know these people know what I did. I wasn't good to these people. Not at all. I was punishing them. And you want me to go and do this? And when the blood of thy martyr, Stephen, was shed, I was also, I also was standing by and consenting unto his death and kept the raiment of them that slew him. He's like, you know, I was there when Stephen died. Or Stephen. It's all, it's all pronunciation for that, I believe. But I see the P instead of a V. I say Stephen. But, you know, I was there. I was like, yeah, do this. Kill this man. I was there when that happened. And he said unto me, Depart, for I will send thee far hence unto the Gentiles. And they gave him audience unto this word, and then lifted up their voice and said, Away with such a fellow from the earth, for it is not fit that he should live. They want to kill him. As they cried out and cast off their clothes and threw dust into the air, the chief captain commanded him to be brought into the castle and bade that he should be examined by scourging, that he might know wherefore they cried so against him. Mm. Mm. That doesn't sound pleasant. As they bound him with thongs, Paul said unto the centurion that stood by, Is it lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Roman and uncondemned? So now he's playing that, you know, while I am born a Jew, I'm Roman. <laughs> Is this lawful for you to really come and do, since I haven't been condemned? When the centurion heard that, he went and told the chief captain, saying, Take heed what thou doest, for this man is a Roman. Then the chief captain came and said unto him, Tell me, tell me, art thou Roman? He said, Yeah. And the chief captain answered, With a great sum obtained, with a great sum obtained I this freedom and Paul said but I was free born then straight away they departed from him which should have examined him and the chief captain also was afraid after he knew that he was a Roman and because he had bound him so this guy was a little like oh this guy's Roman I don't think I should have been doing this on the morrow because he would have known the certainty wherefore he was accused of the Jews he loosed him from his bonds and commanded the chief priest and all their counsel to appear and brought Paul down and set him before them so he's like it's getting ready to be another inquisition it looks like it's pretty good stuff but no he was born a Jew but he worked as a Roman he had Roman citizenship apparently and he wasn't he was like, you know, <laughs> I'm going to use this. And I can't blame him for wanting to use that. Like, I don't think this is a good idea for you to do. Once it comes out that I'm Roman, you're going to have a little problem. And we'll get more into that, excuse me, tomorrow. I thank you all for taking the time to come and hear the word of God, to learn more about the life of the disciples, the apostles about Saul of Tarsus, Paul. I do enjoy sharing the word with others. The kingdom of heaven's at hand, everyone. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is coming back. And if you're not ready to meet Jesus, it's time to get ready to meet him. It's time to repent of your sins, to turn away from the sins of this world, turn away from this world completely and turn to him. It's time to accept him as your Lord and Savior, as the Son of God. It's time to know that he did come to this earth, and he did go on that cross dying for you and me, paying the price for our sins, something that 
we don't deserve no one to do it for us, but he did because how much he loves us and for a debt that we would never, ever be able to pay. And if we try to pay it on our own, the payment is separation from God for eternity, which is described as hell. It's time to come to know who our Heavenly Father is and how much he truly loves you. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And our Heavenly Father loves you guys. Shalom.